Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Let's Resin had recently asked me if I'd like to try out any of their new molds. So I chose this one because why not? I thought it was interesting and I decided to have it a go. So this is their paper towel holder mold. Now you can also use it as a toilet paper mold, which is what I am going to actually be using it for in this video. Now I'll admit that when I had seen it online, it didn't appear to be as big as it actually is. Like I was quite surprised with how big this guy is. It says on the thing that it holds between, uh, it was either 12.4 or 12.8 ounces of resin and they suggest you mix up 14. So I'm gonna mix up, or I did mix up just under 14 ounces of the Let's Resin casting resin. And that's what we're gonna do for this project. Now, for today, the colors of my bathroom are kind of like a grayish color and this weird like yellowy green type color. So I'm going to use Rolio's. It's a Twilight Silver and Peptius Green, I think is what it's called. And it's from their Earth Tone collections. And I've not used either one of these before. So that's what we're going to do today. And then some clear. Now, I'm not necessarily going for like an actual marble marble effect, but I do want them to kind of I guess marble in a way, but that's not 100% what I'm going for. I don't know. Like, I know what I want in my head, but translating it into words, just, it's not happening at the moment. But anyway, so I do have, most of my resin is split, like the colors pretty equally, and then not quite as much of the clear. And this, the clear is just going to act kind of as like a barrier to kind of keep these colors from merging and becoming one color. So that's what we're going for. Now, I am going to spray the inside with alcohol. Now, I don't do this a lot, but I'm going to do it because if you know, like if you have the smaller, like round coaster holder molds, they tend to get bubbles that like to stay at the bottom crevices of those, like in those corners. And I don't want that to happen here. And I don't want to squish it around like I would typically do because I don't want these colors to completely, completely merge together. So I figure we'll just spray some alcohol down and that should help any bubbles from forming in any of those areas. And then I'm going in with the green, then the this kind of gray silver and then the clear. And I'm just gonna kind of repeat this process until this mold is filled to the top or I run out of resin, whichever one happens first. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it for this. Now I am super excited to see how this turns out. And uh, you know, when you mess around, especially with new colors, like, and you're trying, I don't wanna say it's necessarily a different technique, but you never know what you're gonna get. And for this, like what I want, and honestly, I should have divided up my resin a little bit differently. I kind of wanted more of kind of like the gray with hints of the green in there. So I don't want it quite as much green. Like my bathroom is more of the gray with hints of this yellowy green as opposed to the other way around. I didn't necessarily think about that when I was mixing my resin and kind of mixing the colors and whatever, but we'll just see kind of what happens. I have only done this particular technique one other time in that uh, marbled box that I did for my husband, I don't know, maybe a month or so back. So I don't really necessarily know exactly how it plays out as to which color you put first and what you're going to get. Typically, it's the first color that you put down, which in, I, I did the green, so I probably should have done the silver. It's fine. It'll be fine. And then we're just going to kind of swirl around the top just because why not? Okay, so 24 hours later, here we are. Now, I didn't get this like dome domed. I should have mixed up a little bit more resin and I didn't, but it's fine. I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol in here just to kind of help break that seal between the resin and the silicone. And we're going to see what it is that we get. Hopefully it comes out nicely and everything works. Now I have never demolded anything like this before with kind of like that centerpiece in there. 
So this part was not bad. It was it was fairly easy. And then trying to get out that middle piece without ripping it was kind of scary. But it honestly, it came out fairly easily. It was just a matter of kind of working it around so that, you know, I didn't want to pull it too hard and rip my mold the first time that I get to use it. But it pops out and folds back in and it's fine. Now the inside is more green. The outside is... It's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it's a little plain for me, and I want to, you know, spruce it up a little bit more and take it to the next level. So I have these washi stickers that I'm going to use, and the flowers just kind of, I think they look really nice up against it with the colors that I've got going on. Now, I don't have elephant <laughs> stickers unfortunately if i did that's what would be going on here because my bathroom is done up in elephants but the flowers will be fine <laughs> they'll be great so i'm just gonna kind of put it on just kind of at angles i don't want it straight around the bottom or the top or anything like that i just i i want it to be something completely different and unique Kind of like these flowers are just kind of flowing through the breeze. If you can imagine like cartoons or whatever that you've seen when you just see like flowers or whatever, just kind of waving through the air. That's kind of what I'm going for here. So we'll see if I can execute it. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Now, when I am putting them on, I am kind of doing it very slowly and rubbing down as I'm putting the sticker down so that... I'm not getting any air bubbles trapped in there. Typically, when you do stickers or this type of thing, you want to seal them in with like a resin or something like that. Now, because of the shape of this, that is not what I'm going to be doing today. I could probably get UV resin and just kind of rub my hand over it and do a super, super thin layer and do it that way. But I... I it never seem to have much luck with that, so that's not what I'm going to do. But we are going to do something to seal it in later on. But I'm not done yet. So we're just going to get the rest of these stickers on. And I am cutting them as close to the flowers as possible so that the clear, like, plastic part of the sticker isn't as noticeable. I kind of want it to be hidden, you know. I want it to be like it's kind of part of the whole thing. And then it's... Really, like, for the most part, it's done, but I was looking at it, and I was like, hmm, it needs a little something else. So, what I decided to do is I am going to bling this baby out a little bit, and we're just going to make it something a little bit more unique, a little bit more just better, you know? So I'm going to cut out this last flower. Well, actually, I have one more in the back that I'm going to do. Cut out the last two flowers, put them together, and then we're going to decorate this up with a combination of some rhinestones that I purchased and some that I have left over from a uh, diamond dot painting. And we're going to have some fun with it. Okay, so I had a kind of a hard time trying to decide what colors I want to use, but I did find one that kind of had almost the same kind of greeny background, but then when the light hits it, it turns into like pinks and golds and stuff like that. So I think that that will be pretty cool. And instead of doing just one size of the rhinestones, I'm going to kind of alternate it two smaller ones and then a larger one just to give it a little bit more interest and i am using diamond glaze just to hold these in place and then we're just going to kind of go along now i'm not doing the entire thing because a i wouldn't have enough rhinestones of this color to do it and b i think that would be too much so i'm just going to kind of go right around the edge of the front of this where like the paper towel or the toilet paper or whatever would kind of come out. And that's pretty much it. Now I am going super fast speed here because I don't work this fast. And 
we're just going to kind of like every so many, I'm just putting on a line of the glue and then doing, you know, like five or six and adjusting them as I need to, to make sure that they're all straight. I want them on the very, very edge of this, but I don't want them all wonky. So I kind of want to do as straight as possible. And then if I have any areas where I put too much of the glue, I just take a Q-tip and kind of wipe it up with that a little bit. And that's pretty much it for this. Now, I do want to kind of do something else with the flowers. I want them to pop a little bit more. And I had contemplated a couple different ways to do it, either going over them completely or outlining them with the, this, I think there's circle rounds. I don't think they're square. No, these ones aren't square for my diamond dots thing. Like I've got enough colors that I could very easily do the entire flower if I wanted to, or outline the entire flower, but I feel like that would have been too much. So I'm just going to go along and get a yellow for the yellow flowers and like an orangey kind of color for the middle of the purple flowers. And I'm just going to put a center in there. This way, it it's giving them a little bit more interest to look at, but not overdoing it. Because the main focus is obviously going to be the front of this where I'm putting the rhinestones now. I just want a little bit extra for the rest of the piece. Now, the only thing that... I do semi worry about is I'm getting knocked off. I don't know for something that's going to be in use all the time. Like, I don't know how strong this glue is, if it's going to stand up the test of time or not. I guess we'll find out. And this is where sealing it with a resin, like a very, very thin, because obviously you don't want to go over top of the rhinestones. You lose the whole point of them. But like a very thin layer of resin would kind of, be beneficial but I am going to go over this entire piece with some of my gloss varnish and that's just gonna help seal in the stickers so that hopefully I don't have an issue with them coming off especially moisture in the bathroom from showers and stuff like that we'll see it's gonna be an experiment because it's the first time I've ever used it in the situation where I have to worry about moisture like that so I will have to keep an eye on it and kind of see how it stands up to that. And if I notice anything, I will update you guys in the community tab in case anyone's interested in that. Okay, so right now I am just finishing up the last couple little flowers and that's it. This part is done. Now, I am getting my gloss varnish and I'm just mixing in just the tiniest bit of Rolio Pearl White into it. And this is just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the entire piece because I am going over everything on here. Well, not the inside, but everything on the front where I put all the stickers and all those little rhinestones over the flowers. And I'm going to go over all of them. Now, I am being very careful because I just placed this glue down and I don't want to knock any loose, but I'm just going to go over it all. And I'm hoping that this will work as far as keeping the moisture out from the underneath the sticker so they won't lose their stickiness and start falling off. And hopefully it'll keep the glue good. Uh, I don't know. Question mark. Like, we'll see. I'm going over it once. I'm going to kind of let it dry. By the time I get around, because this stuff in thin layers does dry fairly quickly, by the time I get done with the first go around, I am going to go through and hit it a second time just to make sure everything's sealed in and I don't have any issues. And then that's it. I'm so sorry that it was late. It's my husband's birthday. So, you know, there's all of that going on and just life. Anyway... That's a wrap on this one. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I will see you guys on Tuesday in the next one. Love you. Bye.